Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. So I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, my beautiful loves. Let's see what we have here for Aries, please. Holy Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Size, please, Spirit, for Aries. What love messages, clarity, guidance, advice for Aries, please. Ooh, Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, love messages for Aries, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Okay, so under the deck, we have the seven of wands. So Leo, this could be your energy. This could be your person's energy, okay? So we have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. We have the Justice card, Libra energy. And we have the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So Aries, on this side, I feel like someone here is experiencing some blockages, um, major blockages. With the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, this could either be a loss of finances or someone here possibly is not getting their wish fulfillment about a new beginning. So if someone here basically wants to reconcile, they're being blocked okay they're they're not getting what they want okay now this could also be financial this is intended to be a love reading but this could also be regarding finances aries so with the justice card and the page of swords i feel like there is a sense of awareness that this person's realizing that it's karma okay so whoever is on this side they're realizing that they're unhappy they're not getting their wish fulfillment finances are bad or maybe this person can't find a new relationship they can't find a new job they can't find a place to live you see what i'm saying like they can't nothing new or spectacular is happening in this person's life and they're realizing here that it is quite possibly karma and this is the blockages that they're having now again aries that could be you that could be your person i don't know. take it as it resonates clarity guidance love messages for my Aries, please, Spirit. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aries, please, Spirit. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse again, Aries. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. So yeah, there's there's just nothing new starting in this person's life, whether it's a relationship, jo job, money, whatever. There's just nothing. Nine of cups in the reverse, eight of pentacles in the reverse. This could be lack of employment. It could be the fact that whatever this person wants to work on, it goes flat. Like if they want to go to school, it, 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 you know, it's failing. Or if they want to learn something new, it fails. If they want to try something, whatever their wish fulfillment is, it, even if they try working on it, it goes upside down. It's like nothing is working in this person's life. Tell me about the justice card, please, for Aries. We've got the lover's card in the reverse, Gemini energy. So someone here left a relationship. Someone here left a relationship um, and they're paying karma for it. Okay, they're paying karma for it. They either left a relationship or, you know, gave into temptation. Maybe someone here had a choice, Aries. Maybe someone had a choice and they chose the wrong person and now they're paying their karma. Okay, tell me about the Page of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Someone here is possibly coming to the realization of, man, I'm really paying my karma for not choosing the right person. Nothing is working in my life. Life. there's a ton of blockages maybe i should go in and apologize capricorn taurus virgo energy okay um yeah it's almost like ever since someone here cut off an x aquarius gemini libra energy someone here tried to cut off an x abandon an x uh someone here has lost financially with that five of pentacles or there has been a lack in someone's life you know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, it's like whenever you want to offer love, whenever this person wants to offer love or they start talking to somebody, it gets blocked with that nine of wands energy. Um, they try talking to somebody and it gets rejected. You know, it's just a lot of heartache here. Whatever they, they love, whether it's a person, whether someone's trying to romance another person or trying to pursue something that they love, there's nothing but heartbreak here. 
There's nothing but heartbreak here. And someone, again, with that Page of Swords energy is coming to the awareness and the painful truth that it is because someone here, you know, snuck away, lied, cheated, was deceptive. They ran away from something, possibly, in a very sneaky and, and nasty way, okay? Um, so someone here is realizing that they chose wrong and someone's really paying for it, okay? So let's see here. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Aries, Spirit, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, please for Aries. All right. Under the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Pre-Empress Energy. So, Pre-Empress Energy could be male or female, Aries. It's an energy of someone who's single, someone who's independent, someone who um, is well off financially, someone who's looking good, feeling good. This is someone who stands on their own. They've achieved their nine of pentacles. They're one pentacle away from having it all, okay? Um, this is somebody who is doing very well in life. We've got the Eight of Cups. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Seven of Wands again, and we have the ten, uh, excuse me, and we have the Four of Pentacles. So Aries, on this side, what ends up happening here is this person possibly got pushed away. Okay, I feel like this person is emotionally disconnecting. They are, they, you know, they just, they feel like they were blocked or pushed away in a connection. With the Two of Cups and the Four of Pentacles, I feel like this person did have a lot of love. They felt a strong soul tie connection. But with the Four of Pentacles, I feel like this person felt the need to withdraw, maybe because it wasn't reciprocated. This person, I feel, chose someone else. So this person was kind of in an energy of being forced to have to just unhinge and walk away. And now they're doing very well. They're they're independent. They're, they're just, you know what I'm saying? They've moved on. They're, they're doing their own thing. They've glowed up, okay? They've glowed up. Um, we've got the Empress that just popped out here, but I'm not going to take it. Tell me about the Eight of Cups, please, for Aries. Tell me about the Eight of Cups for Aries. We have the Three of Cups. I feel like, you know, this person feels like, you know, this person walked away to go towards a third party. You know, someone here feels like they were left for a third party, so they have to emotionally unhinge. This person now may be emotionally unhinging and going out and having a good time. They look good, feel good, smell good. Seven of Wands and the Two of Wands in the reverse. They were not chosen. Someone here feels like they were not chosen. Tell me about the Two of Cups. We have the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Um, someone here may be looking online and seeing that this person is in a relationship or someone here, you know, was being honest with the fact of, you know what, I love you and I'm committed to you, but still it doesn't matter because they were cut off and left behind. Tell me more about this Page of Swords and Two of Cups, please. The Justice card, Libra energy. I feel like this person watches this relationship waiting for karma to take place. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles, please. The Empress in the reverse. I feel like this person has no more left to give to this situation and they've moved on. I feel like this person is realizing... No, I'm sorry. This person is realizing what they deserve. They've realized the love that they have to give and they've got nothing left to give to this situation here. So this person here is realizing that there's plenty of options fish in the sea. There's plenty of people that, you know, will, you know, give and take and, and balance them out and, and reciprocate the way they feel. So someone here got their confidence together here. Could be you, Aries, but someone here is gaining confidence, going out, giving time and attention to other people. And I feel like this person's starting to realize, man, I made the wrong choice. Okay. Because this person's life is getting better. They're going out. They're having a good time. Finances are looking good. Everything's looking good. And this person is in a serious place of lack, okay? So let's see. Tell me about the challenge here for Aries. Okay, so we've got the Knight of Swords here. We have Temperance, Sagittarian Energy. We have the Six of Cups. 
and we have the world card. So what's happening here, Aries, is the challenge is that you're going to have someone coming in, okay, rushing in like a maniac, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, wanting to reconcile or wanting to be forgiven. So I, the Six of Cups is the ex coming in, wanting forgiveness with the world card. I feel like someone here is saying, listen, can't we just put this behind us? Maybe start over or can you forgive me so I can be released of this karma type of energy you have someone coming back or maybe it's you aries i don't know but someone's rushing in wanting forgiveness tell me about the outcome here please for aries the devil wow capricorn energy so we have the Eight of Swords, we've got the Knight of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. So what's happening here with the outcome is even if this person should make an attempt to work on this reconciliation with the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Wands, someone here is not forgetting that this person just dipped and went with somebody else. They're, they're not releasing the grudge, Aries. Do you see what I'm saying? So even if this person here would be willing to work on things, it's always going to be in the back of their mind that this person is a player or someone who's non-committal or someone who could just hop in their car and go be with someone else at the drop of a dime. Do you see what I'm saying? With the Devil card and the Eight of Wands, someone sees this connection as like everything this person says is toxic or it's a lie or someone here is chained to lust or selfishness or greed. Like, yeah, you want me back now, but if you decide that you want someone else tomorrow, you'll dip on me. Do you see what I'm saying? So someone here just doesn't see this person the same way anymore. So that's going to be the biggest problem. Spirit, tell me about Aries, please. What advice do we have here for Aries, please, Spirit? New beginnings. Taking steps. And fragmented energy. So I feel like what you have here, Aries, is someone coming back to you. They're taking steps towards wanting something new with you. Because with fragmented energy, this person's all over the place. They can't find stability in their life. I feel like with hidden motivations and the honoring path, this person has a plan, Aries, to come back honor the other person but it's with hidden motivations it's so their life gets better okay with conflict and playing it safe i feel like this person here um they are playing it safe because they realize here that kind of like crap can break out any moment here this person is trying to protect themselves from disaster they're trying to protect themselves from disaster because they know that at any moment this person can up and dip and go somewhere else Clarity, guidance, love messages for Aries, please. We've got appreciation. We have anxiety. And we have storm warning. I feel like I feel like this person is coming in to show appreciation, love, and kindness. But I feel like this person still has anxiety that it's just going to like, it's the way this person left previously. Do you see what I'm saying? We saw with that seven of swords, like someone here just dipped and left and went and chose someone else. You see what I'm saying? So there's this anxiety of, you know, like either it happening again. Do you see what I'm saying? Someone here has fear or anxiety. Now, it could be this person, too, that has fear that this person is going to do what was done to them or just leave. Do you see what I'm saying? Let's see. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Let go of control issues and finances and career. So I feel like this person is going to tell this person, just let go. Let it happen naturally. Let's just work on this connection. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Aries, please. We have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And release your ex. I feel like what's happening here, guys, is this person wants you to just, whoever this person is, is coming in saying, listen, just trust me again. Let's just work on it. I love you and I want to try to work this out. But Spirit is saying, you know, when it comes down to reconciliation here and healing this connection, release it. Release the grudge, forgive this person, but move on. I, I feel like spirit is, is saying to be careful here. <coughs> yeah, unrequited love and playfulness. 
I feel like spirit is telling you to forgive this person as you release and heal the past. You experience more love in your present moments for your own, whoever here that got hurt, for your own life. And when it comes down to moving on, forgive this person. But this person doesn't love you. This person is just playing games. They are playing games, okay? Or vice versa. All right, guys. I love you and take care. Bye.